guys, welcome to Honestly English. I am your host, Jessica Beck, and today I'm going to tell you some super cool slang that we use to describe people that talk too much. <laughs> Very cool phrases today, you guys, super native. Let me remind you that you can learn more from me every Friday with exclusive audio lessons, transcripts, and IELTS-style listening quizzes. Membership starts at just $3.99 a month. And this week, tomorrow, sign up before tomorrow because um, members are learning about some super cool intersections between pop culture and politics in our recent past. Very, very cool lesson. Go to honestlyenglish.com click on the classes and memberships tab. Okay, so let's get to it. We all know people that talk too much. Maybe you're one of them. I can be someone that talks too much sometimes. Um, so this is a common thing to say that comes up in conversation, these ideas. So the first vocabulary word to describe someone that talks too much is a nag. So this can also be a verb, to nag. So to nag someone is to be like persistently complaining or persistently demanding about a particular thing. Um, here in the States, Husbands often use it to talk about their wives. I don't think it's very nice, but this is something you'll hear natives say, like, she won't stop nagging me about cleaning the bathroom or whatever. It just means like his wife is always asking him to clean the bathroom or pick up his clothes or whatever. So parents to children, right? I think in family relationships, we often nag each other about stuff, especially if we live with each other. Um, a related phrase is to harp on something. So to harp on something is to talk about one thing persistently, to talk about one thing a lot. So. I thank my mom for harping on the importance of manners when I was growing up. It was She was always saying like how important it is to be polite and at the dinner table, this is how you behave. So she really harped on the importance of manners throughout my childhood, still does sometimes. <laughs> um, another cool word is yammer. So to yammer is to talk a lot or to talk for a long time. You can say to yammer on or just yammer. So for instance, if you're on a flight, like an airplane, and the person next to you will not stop talking, then you could describe this later and say, God, this guy next to me would not stop yammering about his travels around the world and I just wanted to sleep. A related phrase means almost exactly the same thing, to go on or to go on and on. So again, in that same situation, I could be like, this guy would not stop going on and on about his travels. He talked for like five hours. Man, that would be difficult to talk for five hours. Um, the last two phrases, guys, they mean the same thing, blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada. Now, these are just fun to say, right? But when do natives use these? What do they mean? So the literal definition is like, and so on. But when do we use it? We use these phrases to skip information in a story or a conversation that is uninteresting or boring and we don't want to say this information, okay? So like, um, maybe I was at a restaurant last night and the waiter just talked too much about stuff. So I could say like, oh God, this waiter we had last night, he was like, this food is organically grown, yada, yada, yada. The meat is from uh, two hours away, blah, blah, blah. The milk, yada, yada, yada. The cheese, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so it's just like a, they're filler phrases when we just don't want to say all of the words, okay? Guys, you have, to, you have to stay until the end of this video so you learn about the pop culture um, that I want to tell you about. It's a very specific TV episode about yada, yada, yada. <laughs> okay, before we get to the pop culture R&R, &R, guys, um, let me remind you to become an honest member. I put so much effort into researching these lessons every week. They are amazing. And if you're trying to improve your listening skills, if you want to participate in conversations with native speakers, this is the stuff we talk about and say. So guys, sign up for your own honest membership. Exclusive lessons, transcripts, quizzes every single Friday. Go to my website, honestlyenglish.com. Okay guys, pop culture R 
R and R. So in a recent video about vocabulary for stand-up comedy, I mentioned the show Seinfeld. So Seinfeld, groundbreaking American sitcom. It was on the air from 1989 to 1998. Um, and it's still in syndication, which means that the episodes are still on TV on some channel all the time. Like, you can still watch Seinfeld all the time here. Um, and natives still watch it. So there are so many classic episodes that we reference in conversations, okay? And one of these episodes, um, it's from season eight. It's episode 19, and it's called The Yada Yada. That's the title. So what happens in this episode is George has this new girlfriend and she says yada, yada, yada a lot. Um, so instead of skipping over boring information, like we usually use it, she skips over important information and it really makes George start to wonder, like, <laughs> what is she leaving out? So for instance, in one scene, she says that her ex-boyfriend came to her house the previous night and then she's like, and yada, 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 I'm really tired today. So then he's like, what happened when your boyfriend came over? Like, that's information you need to say. Um, so guys, I'm gonna put two super funny clips from this episode on my website. In the blog, guys, remember, I do a blog post for every one of these YouTube videos, and almost always, I put really cool related clips in those posts. So go to my site, honestlyenglish.com, look at the blog post, guys. The one for this one, we'll have two clips from the yada yada episode from Seinfeld. Um, okay, guys. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please share it on social media any way you can. Also, like and subscribe if you have not already. All right, everyone, have an awesome day. I'll see you next week. Bye.